Welcome back to All In with Brian Weatherford, folks. We're about to meet with a guy who couldn't decide which way to go in the car business, so he said, you know what, I'll just sell all of them. And by golly, he's getting really close to selling all of them. This is Wesley Spence. He's with Waxahachie Dodge Chrysler Jeep and so much more. Wesley, welcome aboard. Thanks for having me. It's an honor to be here. Well, I like the whole Dodge Chrysler. I mean, how does how do you sell everybody? <laughs> well, you know, we have, we have uh, three uh, manufacturers down there. We have Ford. Dodge Chrysler Jeep, Ram, and then Nissan store. So uh, we have a couple body shops. We have an off-road uh, facility that we uh, we uh, lift your truck and add all the oh nice all fancy the toys. tires. Yes, all yeah. the toys. You know, we we figured out many years ago people would buy a vehicle and they'd leave our lot and go get it done somewhere else. So we might as well just like, do wait it all a minute. there. We so, can be your one-stop shop. Yeah, we do the bed liners, the tent, everything. So. so even if somebody else were to have their own vehicle already, they can bring it in and you'll oh, do absolutely. it there as well? It's called a Waxahachie Off-Road. So. Waxahachie Off-Road. Yes, sir. Okay, and you're Argyle as well. Well, yeah, I live in Argyle, <laughs> yeah. and I, I drive <laughs> I drive an hour south every day, and uh, it, it's it's not too bad. You hit the toll roads now. It's well, the cool. toll roads and then your, your highway. I mean, you're down, what, 35, 287 pretty much. So you right. got a pretty straight shot from all directions to get to your location. Pretty much. Pretty there much. in Waxahachie. So how long have you been doing this? I've been in the car business probably uh, 25, 27 years. Mm -hmm. So I was a police officer for 10 years. Got on when I was 19 years old. And wow. That was kind of my quick college I went to. So. <laughs> that's quite a college. Right. Owned some uh, body shops, and that's how I kind of got in the car business. Okay. Yeah, I was going to ask you that. So it's not like a family thing or something. No, it's no, no. It's more no. like a passion. Kinda, it is. It's a passion, and I uh, had a little entrepreneur uh, spirit Good in me. Good for you. And, and just kind of took off from there. So I had a few records and uh, got into the car business. And uh, I had a friend of mine. He's he's passed now, but he says, you know, you'd be really good in the car business. I said, I don't know anything about it. He goes, yeah, you do. You're doing it now. So Was he in the car business? He was. Okay. He was. And uh, it's kind of a, a good old friend that taught me into doing that. And it's been well for me and my family. So Almost, almost a mentor, so to speak. He was. He yeah. was. I had a couple mentors in my life. One was Red McCombs. You know, I oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. 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 Red is uh, one, of the, one of the greatest. And uh, Good man, and uh, my kids. I had a couple of kids graduate from UT. Okay. Red wrote them some letters, so that was an honor. That well. that helps. Yes, it did. <laughs> and they graduated his business school there too. Okay. So. Are, are they going to be in the business? Are they in your family no, business? No. Uh, well, I would love for him to be one day. Mm -hmm. My my youngest, seventeen year old, says he is. So we see what, we'll see where that path goes. Well, and, and I asked that was because I know family is such a big big part of your life as it should be. Of it everybody's. is. It is. It, uh, I have five kids, two grandkids, and. Uh, a beautiful wife, and she's my rock, and uh, she uh, she's the one that pushes us and pushes our family. So, just uh, proud to have them. So, did did you find when you, you're going to start getting the business? Because we have a lot of entrepreneurs on the show, right. not on the scale of you, but it could be anybody <laughs> right, that right. thinks they want to get into business for themselves. And uh, again, not in your case, but in some cases, it's a hobby that they decide to turn into a business and realize, oh, geez, now all this business stuff's here. Did you go through that when you started off? Not really. Um, you know, I've, I've always found that if you can get into a business that's really inexpensive to get into, and these days, you know, most, you know, a lot of people are doing the same thing. They have the same idea you have. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's tough to... It's tough to get in any business and make it go. I, I give you that. Right. When I started with my... Years ago with my body shops, you know, that you just couldn't go down to the bank and get a loan. So I was always robbing Peter to pay Paul. And sure. Just in, uh, a lot of expenses, a lot of overhead, and and uh, it was just it was tough. It's it's tough. It's tough now, you know. People think we people think we make a lot of money on our cars, and we really don't. No. It's uh it's the service and the after sales and and the way we treat our customers and keep on coming back from us. And you know, but when you buy a car, our as you know, you've talked to many car dealers. And sure. Our per copy on their cars we sell is not that much. No. It's not as much as people think we make. So no, it's not. We all pay the same for our vehicles. A lot of people don't know that. So they say, well, how can you give me more on my trade? Or how can you save more money on this car deal? I said, well, the only reason we can, and we always say the eggs are cheaper in the country. I know it sounds, <laughs> I like sounds that. a little cheesy. but The eggs are cheaper in the country. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Think about yeah. it. You know, I'm not in the big Dallas, Fort Worth, downtown area. There's a lot of layers that are cut out. There's a lot of rent factor and stuff that Absolutely. people pay. So how can I, me personally, save $1,000 more on your trade, for example? And we do. 
And I purposely, if you bring me something in writing, I'll purposely beat that car deal just because I can. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I'm not here to sell cars. And you know, we're talking about my my complex and how we treat people. Right. You don't even have to come to my store, and that's what I. I I love to just have a car brought to your house. We do everything you sign on the kitchen table. Wow. You know, if your credit's you know to the point where we can just give you the rate you deserve and, and we can talk about the product whether you want it or you don't after the, you like the warranties and stuff, whatever we talk about and agree to on the phone, my guys show up with that paperwork and your vehicle and the trade amount that we agreed upon and nothing changes. I just, who likes to go to the dealership? I mean, well, you know, if you need a washer and dryer, you don't, need, you don't want to go shop and wash and dryers you just kind of go online give and me the washer dryer. somebody deliver it you don't want to go shop for them but it's the uh, same thing i always teach my guys it's it's not easy coming to a dealership people uh, they're, they're nervous they're up sure in they arms they, they don't know what to say they're defensive their grandfather <laughs> told them how to don't do this don't tell them about yeah. the trade don't do this so it takes forever because you didn't tell us about this information we're just trying to speed it up and, you know and uh, we just try to make it simple well, the, the, the one thing, though, that it is, it's, it's the people business. As tried as that sounds, it's people dealing with people. Right. People buy from people. Right. they got to trust you. And just reading up about you before you came in, Wes, they got to <coughs> tell you, you're my kind of guy because you believe in giving back to community. I do. Community is a big, a big, big thing. Can you touch on that a little bit? What you do, that's important, but why you do it is more important. So I'll just give you, you know, when I took over this, you know, and bought into my stores about eight years ago, um, we we're spending a lot of money advertising. Stores weren't doing that well. And I started looking at how much money we're spending in advertising. And we're trying to go after a big DFW or, you know, just the whole market out there and, and instead of taking care of our backyard. And uh, so I stopped all that, got my guys together, and started worrying about the, uh, the community and, and focusing on the grassroots marketing, your local schools, and... Uh, and we've, we've put together some programs that work. You know, we have a perfect attendance program. I've, I guess we've given away probably 30 cars in the last uh, seven, seven, eight years. Okay. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a great program. Uh, Strive to Drive is, is what we call it. Uh, just a, a good program where we'll put a car in the front of the school all year long. And each semester you get a coupon. And that coupon is, uh, we don't want a kid to come to school if he's got the flu or something. Yeah. Right? So, Next semester, you can get a coupon, and you may have three or four at the end of the year, and we get everybody together. We draw ten names. usually packs the stadium. Oh, sure it does. And, but what I didn't realize when we were doing that with the schools, because the schools started begging us every year to do another car, please do another car. And so if you raise, apparently if you raise the basis points of attendance, like even a quarter basis point. School gets money. They had hundreds of thousands yeah, of dollars. We had one school tell us <laughs> we've helped them raise over a million dollars, and I didn't realize just by giving a a car away and then helping keeping these kids in school would do that and uh you know we get into some needy families and give uh oh absolutely giving some cars away to the um so a single mom that she couldn't even get her kids she was ubering her kids to school oh, and ubering to work she couldn't our kids couldn't play baseball because she just didn't have a car sure and uh so I found out about it, and I gave one away to her. It was just an honor to do these things and give back to the community. Well, and, and that's what I was talking about. I mean, it's not just a businessman, you're a community man. And, and for you, it comes in that order. Right. All right. Back to business real quick. What the heck's going on? Anything new with Dodge Chrysler Jeep? I mean, every time I turn around, there's a new Dodge product coming out. You know, they're, they're, <laughs> they've really stepped up their product, and I'm really proud to be a, a Dodge Chrysler Jeep dealer. And... Uh, you know, I don't know if you've read up on the Jeep lately, but that uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee, the mm -hmm. new Jeep Gladiator just came out. We're, as soon as they hit the lot, they're sold. Uh, oh, that's good. If you haven't driven a Jeep Wrangler lately, I'm telling you, it's not your old Jeep Wrangler. It doesn't ride rough down the road. <laughs> it's like driving a really nice car, uh, smooth. Just a good product. I'm really proud to uh, be a part of that. And I have a Ford store, same with their product, and, then, and a Nissan. They've, everybody's really stepped up all their products lately. Well, that's neat. It's people these days, I mean, regardless of what they're looking for, you're, you mentioned people want to go online. There's still a lot of touch and feel people out there. There is. I'm one of those. Right. I want to hear how the door sounds when it slams. Right. I want to sit in the seat. I want to honk the horn. I want to see where the cup holder is. And you should. You, know? you should. But the fact that I could come do it with all these different great product lines just going to you, right. that saves me a lot of work. That's true. That's, that's what true. I like. It's Wesley Spence, everybody. Walks a hatchy Dodge Chrysler Jeep. He's a great community guy, a fantastic business guy, just a good guy to know. I enjoyed having you in here today. It was an honor. Thank you, sir. Look forward to it. Thank you as yes, well. Sir. You take Pleasure. care. Folks, thank you too. Hope you enjoy that, and we'll catch you next time on All In. Bye-bye.